back to the gentleman's den. Another fun-filled night from you boys. Frank, Jeffy, <laughs> Frank, <laughs> Jeff. I am Sean. <laughs> late night, boys. Late night. What? Did you forget our names? I fucked up uh. the second I did. I ain't gonna Jeffy. lie. Jeffy. <laughs> Jeffy and Frank. Uh, Jeffy and Frank. Jeffy and Frank. Day 603,000, 4,213,000. Oh, How many? Were you just naming Elon Musk's kid off right there? you thought you were high i'm fucking that poor kid why would you do that i don't know because who is that fucking dick parents who's that skateboarder turned actor the dude that's in the jay and silent bob oh jason lee yes his son's name is pilot inspector Pilot Inspector? Yeah. Yes. Well, what, what was uh, Gwyneth Paltrow's kid's name? Apple or some bullshit like that? Apple. He's a big fan of Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Jobs she loves his phone shit. so much. <laughs> Steve I don't. Jobs is my shit. Name my I don't son. know why. Son or daughter? Daughter, right? Apple? Yeah, it's a, a, definitely a daughter, I believe. So Elon Musk's son, A space A E. The A E is pronounced Ash. This is connected. Yeah. A A dash twelve for his, for his favorite plane. A so tell me what the baby's name is. I still don't know. No, tell me. <laughs> Say it. A A Ash A twelve. A Ash A twelve. Asha one two. You just say it really fast. It kind of sounds like a name. Asha twelve. Somebody what if it's one two though? Your toe and kind of hey, Asha two son of a bitch. Asha twelve. <laughs> <laughs> I smashed your toe. Fuck. <laughs> you smashed your toe. What happened? I'm fucking. What did you say? Uh, Asha twelve. Asha twelve. It's just so stupid. <laughs> Super oh, we'll find Tiggy. Do the daughter's still up? Here she oh, comes. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. I well, you're gonna have to go find Tiggy, daughter. Oh no! No, Ty no, no! It it's not time to lay. I should have named you A Ashy Twelve. <laughs> A, A Ashy Hole. Oh, the little <laughs> boring doll. Italian name. Bella. Oh, Named after his favorite pasta. She's a daddy's girl. She's girl beautiful. Dad. I knew she was going to be beautiful. That's why I named her Bella. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we got you, brother. Bro. Oh, All right, daughter. I love you. Off to bed with you. <laughs> Your movie's over, right? This is what always happens. Her movie ends and then she wanders. How do you... How do you, you she knows how to do it, too. Go wake mommy up. You know, what, Go wake. you know what you need right now, Jeff? <laughs> What's that? A monkey, a monkey stealing baby. Yeah. Or a baby there you go. Monkey. No, about, uh, come on. A little baby snatcher. Need a little baby, little baby, little snatcher. baby snatcher. You got to be quiet, daughter. I love you to death, but you just peruse the area, okay? Ruse the area. I don't know what I would do. So first of all, I I everyone's seen the video, right? The motorcycle riding monkey. Yes. monkey. Yes. <laughs> I need to know more. I want to know the. I need to see the beginning and the end I of want this a movie. Rocky montage. <laughs> hey, <laughs> anytime you ever see a video like that, don't you always want more and have questions? Like, where did that motorcycle come from? <laughs> How long has he been riding motorcycles? <laughs> How many days have you before this one on camera? <laughs> right. Like, he looked like he was pretty good at snatching babies. It's probably not his first one. He dragged that baby quick down the street, he, fucking face first, in, dragging the motherfucker. Came in full bore, jumps off the motorcycle, motorcycle just ghost rides into some kids. Yes, he's done it before. <laughs> For sure. I mean, this wasn't his first I, time. I can't believe. It. I was like, "Oh, p uh, get the motorcycle." He takes the baby. 
But I would have yeah. been really impressed if he would have got back on the motorcycle with the baby. Like that. He now puts we're it over the gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> like that little kid that pitches goes, it with his elbows. That goes oh! right inside of his elbows. That, like that little kid that ghost rided his bike and jumped off, slapped the other kid, then ran down and hopped back on his bike and took <laughs> off. Jesus. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah, like I said, I want I just, the Rocky montage of the just the thing the learning to balance training. on the motorcycle. <laughs> and then he's got like sandbags, failing. and he's yeah. practice dragging them. Then for some reason he's got he's crawl, you know the Van Dam thing where his legs are getting spread by his master <laughs> 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 for no reason at all. He's never going to do the splits. <laughs> right? No, just training for it. Well, you never know. That one time that times, he has to splits. At the end, How many times just, do you think he practiced ghost riding that bike? The tuck and roll of that monkey. There's just a picture of the baby on seamless. the mirror, and he just keeps looking up at it. You know, and it goes blurry, and it goes back to it, and he grabs it at the end and crushes it. The sunset, yeah. the rays of the light. It's going to be a montage. Uh. <laughs> that, I just want to know, the guy that's standing there that sees this monkey go with it. He stops as this monkey goes flying past him on this bike. <laughs> Even the, yeah. Like, what is the video taken from? Is it just somebody like, is, was the dude on the roof just like, man, you know, I'm going to film today. Cause I, ha- I have a gut feeling. I'm going to see some wild shit today. He seems like he's the one too. That was like, Hey, you're a baby. <laughs> like, like, get the it, baby. Like I said it, it's it's like so much wild shit going on. Does he's like, he's just like, man, I'm gonna grab my camera today. I just feel I feel some shit's gonna pop off. I'm gonna I'm film gonna these kids. These people on the bench. I'm gonna film these Please. kids because they're just being little shitheads all day. Then all of a sudden, I maybe mean, you... <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, monkey ghost rides his fucking mini bike into a bunch of little kids and tries stealing one. Oh, <laughs> uh, fucking. So how many times do you think that guy watched that video? Dude, I see monkey. That monkey, thing. you see where you fucked up? <laughs> you should have. You got to make sure you take out the big guy with the bike, not the little guys. We need the children. Ghost ride right into guys' shin. Oh fuck! This drunk. What? <laughs> But that, Hi, friends. That baby had to have road rash all over their forehead, too. Oh, God, it was so bad. Drugged that little kid. Or fucking Dude, babies baby. have, like, superhuman strength. So does that little I monkey, because he <laughs> snatched that kid like you... In Dude, monkey. monkeys are strong, bro. You don't want to fuck around with a monkey. No. Fucking How many times do you think that monkey's owner showed him that video? Do you see, monkey? What are you fucked up? Right there, see? You know drag. You grab from wrist. <laughs> and the monkey uh, smoking, got, smoking got a cigarette, slapping itself in the head afterwards. So still You want to keep smoking cigarettes, monkey? You want me to keep giving you cigarettes? You want these you want like this crack for the monkey. God, I forget. Uh I worked with a technician that used to tell me about a monkey. He's like uh I grew up in this town in the bowling alley. There was a monkey that smoked luckies. And he's there and he used to bowl. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. He's like, yeah, I grew up and there was a monkey smoking luckies at the bowling alley all the time. I'm like, that's not real. He's like, no bullshit. Well, that's different times. Have you watched different times? Have you watched If I Leave Here Tomorrow yet? The uh, Leonard Skinner documentary that came out? Uh uh. Mm mm. There's a scene where the drummer who's still alive, Artemis, he's like, I took some window pane acid and we're sitting at a table at the, at this bar and all of a sudden this roller skating monkey comes in, <laughs> jumps on the table, <laughs> grabs the bottle of Jack Daniels and just starts guzzling it. And there's pictures of this and his eyes are fucking this big, just like, what the fuck am I looking at right now? See, oh, we're like chimp came on the bar chugging their Jack Daniels. How many times have you had something happen to you in reality that you like kind of went through in your mind like this ain't fucking real? Is this really happening? Every like, time I have sex. 
Oh my oh, god. <laughs> it's this happening. is really happening. I can't believe it. <laughs> it must be my birthday. Shit. Is it my birthday? Uh, did is I forget my birthday, my birthday again? <laughs> oh shit, dude. Um Yeah, I mean some you see some wild shit. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I trying know, to think like, of something that I wouldn't think is an actual real part of reality. I remember doing some stupid shit when I was younger. Like maybe being up to mischievous fucking unlawful things and having oh. like maybe maybe property that wasn't belonging to us and uh driving in a pickup truck with a couple people and uh <laughs> maybe 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 smoking marijuana while in this vehicle and all of a sudden we pass a cop and the lights come on. And the driver of this car just hops in the back seat with me while we're doing 60. What? Because I don't have a license. Who, so he, who's steering? <laughs> passenger. Grab the wheel. <laughs> He's like, what Jesus. the fuck, dude? Yeah, he, no bullshit, jumped out of the car. When I watch him hop in the back seat and I look forward and there's no one there, and the dude in the passenger seat's holding the wheel, and he's like, what the fuck, man? He's like, I ain't got a license. I was like, is this really fucking happening? I turned back around, and there's a fucking cop turned around, lights on behind us. And I'm like... Did you guys get pulled uh, over? Did they drive past you? No, we got pulled over. The dude in the and passenger what seat happened? hopped over in the driver's seat, swerved. You shut up. Swear to God, dude in the passenger seat, or the driver, the the first time driver, hopped in the passenger seat, <laughs> got pulled over. Cop came up, asked us what we were doing, where we were going, what what's going on. Talked to the, the the two people in the front for like five minutes before all of a sudden he like puts a light on me and he's like, "Oh, didn't see you were back there." I'm like, "Oh, I'm not back fuck." Here. I'm wearing, I'm wearing all this black. This is me. This is someone else. Right. I'm just like, speaking in the, me? bro, well, I answered some shit. <laughs> like I was, I was, like I said, we just smoked. I thought we were for sure fucked. Guy says, well, you guys were speeding. Um, the dude said, he's like, cause I got these new bigger <laughs> rims and tires on there. And he's like, the speedometer's off. And he's like, all right, what's well, a warning? Try to get it calibrated. Uh, and, uh. I just wanted to make sure you guys weren't drunk because I seen you swerve. No, people were jumping fucking seats while yeah. I'm sitting in the back like this. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, that's uh. Did you watch that Canadian border? Unbelievable shit. Hot shit I sent you. These people are high as fuck driving in a car and they get pulled over by the cops and the cops like, "How high are you?" And they're like, "Hi, how are you?" <laughs> 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 oh my god it's fucking <laughs> no i did not see that one. that's oh, fucking hilarious that's the best how high are you <laughs> hi how are you <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit so we finally got live oh. sports back even if it's like <laughs> ufc <clears throat> So how's it? So it's obviously well, you're a wrestling fan, Sean. So how have they been? I haven't watched any sports. So the UFC's back. Finally, they're doing a big event. Are they doing it like like wrestling's been doing it? Yeah, because no, wrestling no. never stopped, did they? No, they're fucking fuck it. So what? Ha <laughs> so with what happened with the two major companies now, which are WWE and AEW, AEW just over a weekend shot like three shows three or four shows because they didn't know if they'd be able oh, to get so they had together. a pre they had some pre-done ones and wwe because they have that performance center in florida where all their prospects go to learn they film just filmed at the performance center with you know a they'd flew in the guys that needed to fly in to do a 14-day quarantine and all the bullshit so, like, they did WrestleMania with no fans. That's got to be weird because when they're doing wrestling, don't they, like, you don't they have, like, spots. yeah, don't they normally, like, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm yeah. going to do that. 
So how is it is it picking that up, or do they have to like even script it even more now, like no, before no, the shows? Well, in all honesty, when it comes to wrestling, like the in ring action, the only thing that's scripted is the end, is who's going over. Everything else, yeah. who and how. So if you know Hogan, you're going over on Andre, you pick him up, slam him, and drop the leg on him. That's how we're ending it. That's oh, so it's fucking, they're in there freestyling. Yeah. But they're communicating, yeah. though. Yeah. So how are they doing that when it's, like, super fucking quiet in there? That's got to be so weird. Well, and in all honesty, when they've all been wrestling each other for so long that they're basically doing almost the same match every time with a couple of tweaks into it. You know, the baby face will be started out beating them up, then the heel will do something bad. And then he'll go take over and beat on the guy for a little bit. Then the heel makes the comeback, or the baby face makes a comeback, and whoever is told to go over goes over. So I know wrestling, like, a big thing is, like, the show, the build-up, like, the walkouts, and everyone goes fucking crazy. You know, like, they'll be arguing in the ring, and then all of a sudden this guy's theme music will be played, and then he'll start walking out, and the announcer's like, oh, my God! Oh my god, it's the Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, the big thing is when they have the microphone and they're in the middle of the ring, you know, talking shit to each other and they're all playing to the crowd. Cutting a promo. Can you yeah. smell what the rock is cooking. It's gotta be weird when no one's in there to like get I, hyped so about it. it. Yeah. <laughs> so how they're doing it now is before it was like never look into the camera. Always play to the crowd, blah blah blah. Now, they're just <laughs> now it's like nuts into the camera. <laughs> like, listen here, buddy. I'm gonna tear them apart. I'm gonna kick your ass. Got nothing on me. You and me at the Civic Center. I <laughs> 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 I was a pro wrestler in a past life. <laughs> I'm fucking telling you what. You got three um, minutes. I got you for three. You me on the outs. No, in, so you have seen the wrestling name be real quick, Sean. What was your wrestling name? I know you thought of it. No, actually, I've never have. Stop it. Magilla. You can't be a fan. Of- Magilla the Vanilla Gorilla. <laughs> 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 That's totally what it would be. What are you uh, talking about? It's perfect. Yeah. He, he Frankie's would be Jaws. <laughs> Fucking Jaws. And Spanish <laughs> Jaws. Yeah, 1974, <laughs> man. Just a shark with a sombrero. <laughs> can, I, can I go as Baby Shark? Baby shark. Baby shark. Here comes Baby Shark with his signature move. The jaws of death. <laughs> yeah, and then the whole crowd. Chop, 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 chop. This is 1986. The fucking announcers. Oh my god, there's chum in the water. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Chop, I'm, chop, chop. I'm dead. I'm oh, now we dead. need to make this happen. A backyard wrestling match between <laughs> Mag- Magilla, the vanilla gorilla, <laughs> against Baby Shark. <laughs> shark in a sombrero. <laughs> I would just be like uh, the hype man for one of you guys. The man would be the announcer. Be, yeah, yeah, one of those sh- shitty promoters. In all honesty... <laughs> What I, I thought about those interviews. because, yeah, being a wrestler would be fun just because you get to beat the shit out of each other, but I would rather be a manager or a referee. <laughs> manager or a referee? Yeah, because the manager, you're on the outside of the ring, you're talking shit to the crowd, you're, you know, you get to be... <laughs> you a better pra- start practicing crowd. your two slaps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was two. That was two. two. That was three. Two. two. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know, it, yeah, that just gets me. I, I can't do it. Just, oh, I'd rather man. watch a fucking rubber shark. What? 
<laughs> Jocks, whatever it was made out of rubber. Oh god. Oh, oh you, you remember the first one when you see the shark? Chuck turned and his he's music like, down because he's swearing at his dog. Shut the fuck. Fuck. I, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking barbecue fuck! your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you see that grill? You see that <laughs> <laughs> fucking dog. I'll light you up. <laughs> Shut the door. It's like Sean's making fucking out of Jetta. About to give him that fucking (laughs) bionic bow. The (laughs) UFC is live tonight, and uh, the fight just ended. Oh, Uh, all of them? Yeah. uh, Justin Gaethje beats Tony Ferguson (sighs) by fifth round TKO. What? No. Really? Ferguson was yeah. supposed to go against Khabib. Yeah, and that just throws a giant monkey wrench in everything. Wow, that's crazy. McGregor rematch. McGregor rematch. I don't think Over. McGregor can, can beat Khabib. He's just got that. That's a little psych over him. I think. <laughs> we McGregor's jumped you, you fuck. Got one of the best chances, though. And I'll tell Who? you why. Connor. Because if you think about it, Connor, when he first fought Nate Diaz and lost, came back the next fight and fought like a fucking demon. Yeah. yeah Khabib's, don't you think Khabib's wrestling is just so fucking top notch? I, I think that Khabib can get caught. And the older you get, the easier you get to get Every, knocked out. Everyone. Yeah, but I mean, when when McGregor's, when McGregor's on the ground, that, well, yeah. it's kind of hard to. But punch Khabib McGregor's in the face also, when you're on the ground. McGregor's also the only guy that's ever won a round on Khabib. If he could stay up on his feet, he's got a chance, but it's so I hard. Think, he's I think such I, a fucking I, badass wrestler. I, I think but didn't that, he stay up with them last time? No, he got McGregor got cracked one time, and then the rest of the fight just became Khabib doing what Khabib does. Khabib just, he, yeah. He, he mermaid, he, like Connor calls it, the, he mermaids your legs. So you can't move your legs, yeah. and then he just punches you. Uh, and then his whole fucking camp jumps you in the at the end of the fight and kicks the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. That, fucking- that is the craziest thing. But I do feel like that is, is that not the most like biggest fight? Like that's what you want to happen. Well, you want the rematch. What I that's what I, in all honesty, what I want now is I want Khabib to fight Justin Gaethje to see who to. Because Gaethje won the interim title, which is basically if Khabib never can get out of Russia again, Gaethje's your 155-pound champion. And like, what, what is that what they're saying? He's such a dirty piece of shit, he's not allowed to leave no, Russia? No, the coronavirus isn't letting him leave Russia. Oh, okay. Putin Can't they get him a could. boat? Can't they give him a boat to bring him to the island? They... They're in Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, it's that movie where they all, they took, was it the quest or something? <laughs> I'm not even Enter in the, the UFC. Dragon? I, <laughs> was Balls that though? Fury? Yeah, that, that's the. <laughs> Balls of Fury? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Everyone, Kombat? see all these fights that they always violent? get on a, on a fucking Balls of Fury. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you quarantine the man for so long, right? You got to bring him somewhere, bring him. Well, the, see, I lost all the respect for the UFC when it wasn't on that private island that they said they bought just for the right. fights. And they Once they were like, they're not doing it on, there, I was out. Once they said they're not bringing people in on boats, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Pfft. you need to be delivered an invitation on a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs to eat a dinner, sit around and have chicks come yes. and throw in. Your invitation comes on a scroll. Daggers into apples. You have to be at the dock at fucking 900. It's foggy as shit. Yeah, it's foggy as fuck. They're loading up barrels for some reason. What's in the barrels? I don't know. Always loading barrels. They're always loading barrels on ships. What do you think? That's all the fuel. (laughs) All the gunpowder. Bermuda Triangle. Takes a lot of fuel to get through there. Why is the rum gone? That's all the rum gum. <laughs> so Gaethje, Gaethje uh, which is surprising. Then you had Henry Cejudo beat Dominic Cruz in the second round by TKO, which what everybody's saying, it looks like it was a quick stoppage. And Henry Cejudo afterwards. Wow, that sounds players, like my sex life. An early stoppage, 100%. <laughs> 
but you put your best effort in. I did, oh, dude. I, I, dude, what sucks stopping. is I fucking trained for months and then just quick <laughs> I was in the gym for six weeks before this one, and I, I just got caught. I trained for months for this, so that fucking just... <laughs> I just got caught. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> first, first 30 seconds of the round. It's over. It's she over, champ. And I just fucking... <laughs> I can yeah, go no, again. She threw no, that, stay down. She threw that leg <laughs> on me and it was over. <laughs> right. It's like when you get, you know, when you come too early, it's like getting uh, choked out. You kind of like come too. Like, what happened? <laughs> no, I could, I could still fight. Like, no, you can't. You can't. Pull it out. No, you're done. <laughs> it's over, Rock. The doc, let the doctor look at you. <laughs> <laughs> look at the light. He's over here looking. Don't follow the light. <laughs> How many fingers I got up? 16. 16. All right. I'm going to get him. Billy Bob, you got to have it as a true or false. Is this man <laughs> holding up fingers? True. False. Give it a taint. I mean. Oh, man. He isn't holding up fingers, actually. They're attached to his body. He's not wrong. It's whatever kind of logic you want to put on it. See, hold uh, up. How many Jeff fingers Boy am I holding Francis, up? New boy Francis Ngannou, 20 seconds to take out Rosenstrike. Aye, aye. That's crazy. And he Came up swinging, him, bro. And he was giving them shout out to Brandon Rogers, them Brandon Rogers haymakers. <laughs> <laughs> cinder blocks at the end of Rosenstrike. Handing them out like Oprah. Just, I think I'm way fist. too high right now, you guys. You get a fist. No. Holding up three fingers? Why has that never been on Stone Zone? What? How am I holding mean? them up? Freaking out, man. Well, turn, go like this. Are you holding them down? You're holding them down. You're holding them up. Am I holding up two fingers? You go How like that. Am I holding <laughs> up? <laughs> I you. What, if I was holding them. In the ass. Wouldn't fuck. I be? I don't Maybe know. Look at it. You're Did using two fingers? Are not. Are you using two fingers? Got to be below the knee. Sean, what are you playing a violin? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like Sean's technique, dude. You see how he licked his lips, too, and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> like Jordan driving to the lane. <laughs> you never done one of these? Then I just... Ha! Oh, but... Don't call it. You know, when oh, you're getting, you, know when you're getting, you know when you're getting close to your destination, you, like, turn the radio down so you can concentrate? Like when you're, when what you're do you parallel mean, any, Anytime you're in the fucking car. That's what I do. I'm having sex with the with the, the CD player on, you know what I'm saying? You just turn it down right at the end. I kind of want to hear you breathing. <laughs> can, we turn <laughs> off this, can we turn off this R&B music? <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> That's what I want to set up like a fucking, uh, a fucking mix. You know what a I'm Nookie, saying? Like, yeah, a Nookie playlist. Right, but like the first three songs are gonna be like slow, like Pretty Ricky or something, and then like the fourth song, it's just Pantera. <laughs> You'll <laughs> never <laughs> make it. You'll yeah, never. Yeah, what am I saying? I'm not making it in nine <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you take a break. It better be the <laughs> shortest <laughs> song in the world. Minutes, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to mix it in after the first. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Very white, yo. <laughs> yo, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should just remix the song. I'll put it all together in like one. 60 oh, second oh, track it's like those it's like those mashups where it's you know like the old 50s yeah stuff with fucking yeah you got little boys the men little 112 back to back like you know quick little snippets some genuine some some pony and all of a sudden then it goes to you fucking <laughs> 30 seconds into it straight up fucking just gangster hardcore trap dude you you can't make there's no way to make love to pantera i'm sorry no. It's only fucking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're not you can't fucking sing love. Just saying... slow thrust and no. ear licking. No, that's that's the old flip over, <laughs> foot on the back of the head, and try to fucking. Oh, you Jesus guys Christ. said that you've never Ruined fucked while me. having sex. It sounds like you have to me. I'm just saying. Well, look, that man, sounds like fucking while having you don't sex. Have choice. <laughs> you're fucking while having yeah, sex you're when you're listening to Pantera. Fucking... That's. 
You what if it just your... comes on randomly? Yeah, if you just have your shit on random. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, the, the radio in the car plays it, or, you know. The first song that comes on. Game to play. That's no, a good game to play. Put your playlist on random, and you gotta fuck to the beat. Like, you start out with, <laughs> if for some reason, it starts out with It'd Jason Mraz, I'm yours, you know, just something so easy. Right. And all of a sudden, the next thing is just fucking speed metal from 86. I'll punch a damn box in your face! Early That's Metallica, Alexandria. just super fast. Oh, shit. Fucking Metallica, just... <laughs> just battery. Double bass, <laughs> double bass <laughs> pedal, like... <laughs> 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 Can you imagine like some event sevenfold comes through? Sweating, just <gasps> ah, holy confessions. There's a fucking four minute guitar solo in this song. I ain't gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even make it the solo, Jeff. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Just, oh god. I'm saying. I feel like that should be a quarantine game. Everyone, everyone should be trying. Yeah, the, you're gonna the, have the sex random with your playlist. Random. <laughs> random. <laughs> That's risky business right there. Yeah, dude. Fucking genuine to fucking Oh shit. Ben sevenfold. <laughs> Fastest speed oh. metal you can think of. Just or, oh. or just, just goes to a twister song. <laughs> I can't even. Right. I can't even like picture the type of people who fuck their hardcore metal. <laughs> like, well, you know, they, 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 all I think about is like if it started out with something like, like, um, <laughs> you know, like some old school twister or, or something that's like, you know, do you want to ride? And the and you're like, okay. And then all of a <laughs> sudden it goes to some hardcore twister, like, because it picks in something from that genre or genre of you know what I mean, like, yeah, that type of artist. I feel like you'd be instantly <laughs> fucked. Like, oh no, don't don't go. No, like said, don't play no it, twist. It would just be hilarious if we went from like we said something, you know, something sweet and nice, little Ed Sheeran or some bullshit, and then just fucking <laughs> just drops the hammer on him. Just dun- Pantera dun- walk. Dun- <laughs> <laughs> it's a mob pussy. Oh, man. I don't know why, but every time I just, like, fucking rock music and weird, crazy, I just think of, like, Juggalos fucking in a tent. <laughs> just what? Just fucking fucking makeup running. Makeup. Where is, yeah. Are there yeah. Juggalos? I, I, I'm just wondering, did Juggalos, like, throw on fucking <laughs> the Great Malenko and it's like, oh, this music it's is a good so album. turning me on. <laughs> God, can you imagine fucking if something like that came on? Tent. Oh, I'd feel God. awkward after that. Just think like, Did you really you just know. fuck to the Great Malenko? You're, you're fucking a chicken hunting. <laughs> Who's going chicken hunting? Who's going chicken hunting? <laughs> the Great Malenko. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Dude, we so saw these, like, with a bunch of juggalos. They all had the, <laughs> the fucking tattoos. the machete man the tattoos. Oh, yeah. Tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I remember that when I was dating Beth. Yeah, I feel I feel all like those those... Into the... and, and let me guess, they all had them in like the most random fucking places you would ever put a tattoo. Yeah, yeah I got a hatchet oh, man on the back sure. of my knee. I feel like the, like what? what what happens if that starts coming on as a playlist? Like, what are the absolute worst songs that could come on? I feel like that would be one of them. What would like, you, yeah? What would make you hit like Sean had the one time? What you gotta what, stop what something? The, the, yeah. The, the, What's a song that would that, that could come on? Be like, all right, Is it just the boner crusher. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you're 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 getting ready to lay down. Like where you actually have to stop Honestly, and be like, for me, anything me by change. Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> 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 I would get up and smash the radio. Oh shit! What if it was? Don't you want to? Don't you want to? Don't you want to come in her belly button and say we're all just sidewalk <laughs> chalk on the sidewalk? <laughs> oh God! We're all just come on your stomach, waiting to be just wiped think- away. <laughs> Here's your socks. Think of these awesome lines you're missing out. You're missing out on on that chance. Oh, oh man. God! Uh, come on, you guys gotta have an answer to this question too. What's your a dick shriveler if it comes on the fucking? Um, 
I huh. feel like I, country. I can't stand country. Country. I just, now, now, if is it new I country just feel, or is it old country? I don't know. It's just Doesn't anything matter. that's like depressing. I feel I like feel, I'm. I don't want to listen to it. Like, yeah, I don't like it. In, I just couldn't I feel, do it. In I feel so dumb every time I listen to it. If you're fucking, like, Hank Every so time country on. music comes on, I feel like I didn't even go to grade school. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you're you're mid stroke, and all of a sudden you hear, "There's a tear in my beard." Right. Yeah, that's that's a boner crusher. I'm just like, man, I'm sad now. Yeah. Fuck. You start thinking about your know. girlfriend, and you're just like, God, she was so much better the- than this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That'd be pretty bad. Just your sister is that... much better. <laughs> I'm stuck. Want me to go back to pretending I'm your sister? <laughs> little Joe Dirt, man. Has everyone got a little Joe Dirt in them right now? You're my sister. You're my sister. I'm just saying with like the... Now, when was the last time you guys did something with your hair? Oh, I My hair? I shaved my head a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say like, well, what's like the point? You know what I mean? Which one? Which one? (laughs) So that's last time you shaved your butt. My dick's got a Caesar, dude. Your dick needs a tweezer, dude. Oh. What? 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 what, what, You guys having a whole lot of bush rubbing going on over there, Jeff? (laughs) Yeah, we almost started a brush fire. (laughs) (laughs) Always smells like burnt hair at Jeff's house for some reason. What the fuck is that smell, man? Did you? <laughs> you get you a manscape. <laughs> Did you? Burnt hair. Burnt hair is like the worst smell. Jeff needs a manscape 3.0. Right. Not a sponsor, but you guys wanna. <laughs> right. We're funny. It's like heaven. Why won't you it's, fucking sponsor us? <laughs> it's heaven on your balls. I'm told, bro. Like, you have the smoothest fucking Smooth balls in eggs. the world. It'd be like eggs. Eggs, dog. Yeah, bro. I don't want it to look too young, though. And they also have balls. I don't want. <laughs> they have. I don't want it to be awkward when I'm trying to jerk off. It's so smooth. Like, this it's this so dick smooth. looks too young to be mine. Just, why do I feel like a pedophile oh. right now? Right. <laughs> this, this isn't right. This ain't cool. I'm gonna let it grow out a little bit before I play with it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> five o'clock shadow, you, do, bro. you don't have to go all the way. I think you there's there's levels of this shit that are advanced now, man. Like uh, fucking manscape, they ain't fucking around. Come on, get you, they get you high and tight. They got <laughs> the uptown yeah, fade. Yeah, your dick's got a your dick's got a Gumby. <laughs> Just like, give it the sideburns. You know what I'm saying? Just your cock looks like Mar- you had the trail. Your cock looks like uh, what was his name? Uh, Radio Raheem's haircut and fucking do the right thing. The fucking wedge. Do you remember when the trail was cool? When I was in shape. Button? Yeah, I used to shave my chest, but then I'd leave the trail like from my belly, perfect... below my belly button. It's like Jeff's a nice hair little... goes to a perfect V. <laughs> to yes. my ball, to fro. ball fro. <laughs> chest <laughs> pubes down to my ball fro. Wiener. Dude, right under my belly button, I had a little strip. <laughs> uh, shut the fuck up, Daryl. Wait. Everybody my age had that strip at the beach. <laughs> what, when you were in fucking Miami yeah, with your Speedo? You also chin strip, too, to go with it. So it was like, right. you get a strip here, <laughs> then you got it waxed down to your, right underneath your belly button. Bro. Oh, you nasty motherfucker. I think you could bring it back, dude. I'm just saying. I think I'm going to bring it back, future, to bro. be honest. I'm bringing it back. I'm going to have to get back in shape just so I can get my little strip, my little line here. 90s gear all the time. All oh, day. Saying. I think you could bring it back. I want to see it. Let's go. Let's get you a perm. Let's go, champ. Let's get the, let's, let's put the the Ooh. blonde highlights back in your hair. Once my mullet gets long enough, I'm permanent for sure. How's, look how's at this. your mullet? How's your adventures this? Yeah, your look at. <laughs> Where's yours? Frank? I'm not even growing you one. Look long at long hair before I even said I was growing one. Mine's getting there. I got, but Jeff I got also a, got a haircut. I had my hair faded when I said I was growing a mullet. It was no, you, bald. You, you you said you're growing a mullet, and then you came over you with said, the Chris Bryan haircut. 
Yeah. Yeah, because there's levels of this shit. And at it's that like time, I was still around the public. Mullet. I go, what? It's a 2020 mullet. That doesn't count. Yeah, bro. I wanted it. that shit. 1980s. He wants I can't go from a straight. Camaro cut. I can't yeah. go from a straight fade and then just be like, I got a mullet he wants, instantly. He wants the 1989 Marty McSorley fucking <laughs> mullet. Los Angeles five, Kings five. mullet. Weak ass shit. Should I get should I get the lines put in the back and do the wild thing? He wants the Randy Johnson. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Throwing hundred and ten mile an hour <laughs> fastball mullet. This plastic mustache I got on my face here. Ron James. You got a LeBron James beard. Look up again, Frankie. Let's see, how, Let's see how the underneath's <laughs> grown in. Yeah, look, it's filling in now. I admire oh, Frankie's bro. dedication. <laughs> What do you mean, not shaving? To, to no, a... your dedication <laughs> to, to the LeBron James Michael Jordan argument. And let me let me explain it, if you wouldn't mind. Please do. Frankie just went shopping, bought a bunch of clothes. We go up to I think it was Elkhart Lake. And Frankie had this nice gray t shirt on and it had like this lion on it. Yeah, the He's like, check out this new shirt. I'm like, dude, that's a LeBron James shirt. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's his that's his symbol. He's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yeah, that's the lion. That's the King James symbol. Frankie never wore that T-shirt again. <laughs> <laughs> he took it off I took right it then off and there. Right there. <laughs> that, yeah, I, I do remember that. You know where I actually got that shit from? Um... Bro, it's a go factory off the fucking rack. You are one of those like five dollars. Appreciate your dedication. You know what though? I was. Do you guys look down on people for wearing like a LeBron James shirt? Like I. No, you got. I understand. But do you kind of lose your like a little bit of respect for him? There's like a little bit of smidgen. I just don't like him. There's a. I don't like him. There's a smidgen that wants to go up to him and be like, Jordan's better. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you like, lose, you everyone lose has a that I respect for it. right. And then once you get talking, but they don't know though. That's you know I don't want to I don't want to start sounding like an old man. This is their generation. Well, no, they grew up with LeBron. Uh, no, I'm talking. You know, about it's like, like the kids who wear Steph Curry shit. I'm not talking about talking to a little kid about. it. I'm talking about talking to an adult, like a 28 year old man. Well, I mean, even a 28 year old wasn't really around with, with Jordan. You know. But it, are you going to be like... Well, 38. 38-year-old 38 man. He's getting he slapped. If a 38-year-old man's wearing getting anything... by slapped. The, that, wearing a LeBron James shirt at 38 <laughs> years old is like wearing an Affliction shirt anytime. Ooh. <laughs> Dazzle jeans. There you go, Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> I got. I got a work Now that was probably the ballest moment I've ever seen Frankie have. He took. He found out it was a LeBron James shirt. He took it off instantly. Said, "I'm never wearing this good, shirt again." It was a nice looking <laughs> shirt. It was a light gray. I remember it. I still probably yeah, have it, it had a closet somewhere. It a dark I'll give gray. it to the boys. I got. You so probably much wear it. You probably would probably wear it to bed. You save no. that for your '90s retail shop or '2000s retail shop, and you sell that for right. $170. Back to the Future style. Slobby. Racks. Slobby's Dude, like, bro, right. this is vintage. Racks to the 2000... future. Racks, yeah. close. Vintage... Racks to the future. Brown James. 2007 Trash to the Future. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, I, I, I would never. I just, I don't respect it. Um, I feel. I saw something that I, I never like post on like media shit, and I saw something. I actually commented. Someone posted a uh, like, "There's not even an argument. LeBron has got more of this, more of that. He's played better." Blah, blah, blah. Jordan wouldn't have had nothing without these you know other what people. He has. Six I'll let you finish first. Then I'm going to tell yeah. you what LeBron definitely has over Jordan. Well, the first 100%. thing that they show is. There's, like, all these people that are, like, putting stuff on, and there's, like, the, the smile and Jordan, the Jordan, like, making the, the shot, all the stuff that's, like, great, all the memes. And then there's one of LeBron where he goes, he's playing the Bulls out of all people, too, and D-Rose, like, goes to get the rebound by him and doesn't even touch him. And LeBron flops like he got punched in the <laughs> face, getting the rebound, and hits the deck, and there's a foul called. And that caption right there is enough said, 
Jordan would never do that. What Jordan did and how Jordan played, that is why LeBron will never be as good and compared to Jordan. And that is the only argument I will ever need is you watch Jordan go to the hole and drive the lane and you see him get punched and beaten and dragged and pulled. Actually and, punched. Right. Yes. <laughs> and he makes a crazy layup and you're like, how did he do that? And you watch LeBron do it where LeBron takes a guy and he carts his arm around him and moves him and then dunks it and they call a foul on the defensive guy who didn't make the contact. LeBron did. That's a different league right there. That is the only argument I will ever need to have on Bulls, LeBron, Jordan, LeBron. That's it. LeBron James's playing style is perfect for the mentality of the people of the world now. Everybody cries over nothing. Everybody flops. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Dude, when, come on, how funny was that the videos when Trump got elected and those fucking people losing their minds? Crying. <laughs> screaming. Like... No, Dude, I didn't vote for Trump, but that shit was hilarious to me. Just for fucking people. That's what I mean, though. The the reactions of people LeBron and like James things of basketball are... style is the crying lady on the street when Trump got elected. <laughs> He's done that LeBron, to himself. You know where LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan? Oh, wow. Games, um, finals game seven points. Yeah, because Jordan never played in a game. Jordan so already, but uh, he always won before that. <laughs> what yeah, do you know? So LeBron has more points in Game 7 in the finals. Well, great stat. Well. And let's be honest, uh, LeBron started three years before Jordan did it, you know, age-wise. I'm just saying, though, Jordan was a dick, but his arrogance and his championship and his leadership and the willing of his teammates and winning, and that's something different. You, you, know, you know another perfect argument? Jordan stood up and fought. And made a big deal to keep his team together. LeBron made a big stink and uh, bitch and complain to get traded to go build a team together. Jordan had a team that he what said, did Jordan "This say, is my." Team. What did Jordan say when LeBron signed with Miami? Bitch, I didn't want to play with Bird or Magic. I wanted to beat Bird. Beat or them. Magic. Yeah. Right. Right. He never joined up. <laughs> So the next episodes that are coming up are all about him and Steve um, Kerr punching each other in the face. It is about <laughs> it is about being a teammate with Michael Jordan and and I think the other episode is what it's like to like play against Michael Jordan. So it's basically about his intensity like in practice. Unfortunately, there weren't any cameras at that practice, but they are going to tell the story about when he punched Steve Kerr in the fucking face. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like He got into a fist fight with Will Perdue in the last one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Will Perdue is probably the nicest fucker you'll ever no, meet. Bill Wennington was the nicest. I We met Bill Wennington. You did. I wasn't there. Yeah, you weren't there. But that's what I mean. It's a no. Is it a dick thing? Is it competitive? <laughs> is it someone that has... A a no, you know what I mean. They don't they don't give you the slack. Hey, we're here to perform a fucking job and and, and a duty to each other, and this is what we're here for. No fucking up, no duty. fucking around. You said duty. Duty. I did say duty. <laughs> it wasn't a call. Just the mentality of a fucking savage. Right. Like Kobe would be ar- arguably the next only person i would ever say is well look at when people right and he was the closest to jordan and look at like people who went there and they're like right. like look at dwight howard went there he wanted out immediately because he couldn't handle Kobe's fucking intenseness he's like jesus right. christ well, this guy's too crazy I get me just, the fuck out of here i just watched i forgot who did the interview but i watched an interview that kobe was talking about jordan and he said the first time i got to play against him i went in there because I saw him as another man. Everybody else saw him. Everybody else was like, "You mean playing against Black Jesus?" Right. <laughs> That's like, and Kobe's like, "He's a man. He's just yeah, a right. Man. I'll play defense. I'll play against him." And, and then, that was and that then, young mama mentality. And then Kobe also said, "And then I proceeded to see why they call him Black Jesus." <laughs> <laughs> right. He goes, but after that game, when I showed Mike that respect, he was like anytime you need anything you call me and he became his big brother so Kobe oh and God. michael were like this tight son 
So yeah. Can you just imagine if Jordan did what LeBron did, like, and just said, "Hey, let's get Kobe and Shaq to come to the Bulls to play with me and Rodman and Pippen." Right. If Jordan left <laughs> to go to LA, they would. No, no, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. Well, like, if they came to him. The playoffs. Oh God, for sure. But that's what I mean, though. Like, it'd be insane. If you replace and like for what they were doing, how they screwed Scotty, they had the money. If you replaced <laughs> Luke Longley with Shaq and Ron Harper with Kobe, oh, you God, would have oh fucking my games. God, that's what I'm saying. That would have been like a LeBron they move. If, if Jordan did that, I'd be like, oh, I see the comparison. Yeah, <laughs> they would have scored 200 points a game. And would have been crazy. It, it would have been like there's not like, enough basketballs for that yeah, team though. It would, no, it would look like the Harlem Globetrotters. Harlem Globetrotters, one thirty-seven. <laughs> you remember? You remember when 13. the Lakers tried to get like a super duper team when they had Carl Malone and Gary, Gary Payton? Payton and, yeah, they they wanted the Bulls beaters. The guys, yeah. Well, they lost. They, they lost to the fucking no name Pistons yeah, in the finals. Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace and Chauncey Billups and well, sometimes Rip you get that, that much talent on the same team, it doesn't work out like you plan. You know what I mean? Right, Too many fucking imagine, captains like, in the boat. If you were to say, "All right, I'm going to assemble a team with Carl Malone, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, Gary Payton," you'd be like, "Oh yeah, they mm-hmm. won the title for sure." Right, but no, no, they couldn't work it out together. That's kind of more too when Kobe and Shaq had their beef, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was right at the end. Shaq yeah. left pretty much. That was right also after that. Thing about the when Barkley joined Houston. Yeah, with Pippen and. Yeah, that was kind of scary. And they but didn't again, win because they no, they didn't no. win either. They were all a hundred years old. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like obviously, at that time too, if, if you were to pair those guys up, if you would have told me though that like Shaq and Barkley. We're coming to play the four and five with Pippen at the three and Jordan at the two. I'd be like, wait, what? Who's your who, who's your two, three, four, five? That's you know what I mean. But like you said, yeah. they're all old as fuck. Like, what do you what do you do? Draft a young Iverson or Kobe? That's what the Bulls needed to do, and they never did. They were an organization that were fucking the stupidest organization. Sure, we did. We drafted D Rose. All right, I'm sorry. I do love that pick. So, I love so I love it. what is the, you know, besides Bulls being your favorite team, whatever, what is the best basketball team you saw in that never won a championship? Like, Ooh, the there's most, a lot. I was just like, thinking about that because you had, like, I mean, like we just said, that Rockets team. Well, they won two. Um, They won two. Well, not the, yeah, yeah but not the one we not were talking Barclay about. Not the Barkley team. No. And then you had, like, dude, those tr- – Kings teams, exactly. those Trailblazers teams, the Sacramento fucking good, Kings man. teams that got screwed over by the refs. And that was the guy who was betting on yeah. the that fucking games. Team, think about that. You had White Chocolate Jason Williams, Doug Christie, fucking Chris Webber, Vlade Divac, Peja Stojakovic. That team was stacked. Stacked. Yeah, but Mike Bibby wasn't Mike, Mike Bibby on Bibby. that team too. Yeah, I feel like there was a time after Jordan when Jordan left, there was probably a dozen, maybe more, great players that you were like, "Wow, look at the NBA and how competitive it is," and it was exciting to watch, and anyone had a chance. And then LeBron came out, and he started his fucking big three and tag teaming up and shit. Well, not really. And, I mean, the Lakers were pretty much dominating. Well, for a while. The Lakers, then you had Boston, yeah. Boston when they had Ray Allen and uh, Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce. They had their three-headed monster. Yeah. Yeah. That was but really like, one I of mean, the first super, like, the, the first time we saw, like, max contracts go to one team. And that's what I'm saying, though. You look at, like, guys like, like, like uh, you know, Ray Allen, or you look at, like, you know, Kevin Garnett, or, or Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, Allen Iverson, Kobe Bryant, um... You know, fucking other greats and stuff that were Penny Hardaway, fucking, you know. Uh, Went to a finals, lost to Houston. It was, That's yeah, just how but, it is now. Like, you look at, like, I didn't even realize how many fucking teams T-Mac played for. Or look at Shaq. Shaq played for, like, ten fucking teams. He played for, like, right, half the league. You think Shaq of the Lakers the and then Magic, who took him. Shaq won Cavs. the title in Miami. He, yeah. 
Right, but the, he played for, like, the Celtics, the Cavaliers, yeah. the Suns. Like, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, and his number always changed. It was, like, fucking the worst number, like, 47. 13, <laughs> 49, 37. Yeah, I can't believe that if Anthony Hardaway would have stayed healthy and Shaq would have never left, That's I mean, the Magic, that was a oh, scary man. team. You had Horace Grant. Yeah. Shaq. Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's, uh, there was so many guys and stuff Scott. like that. Yeah, they went to the finals. Neil Anderson couldn't make some free throws. Nick Anderson. <laughs> Neil Anderson was a running back for the Bears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson. I still can't wait to see, though, with some of these guys. Like, I think that John Morant's going to be a crazy talent in the NBA now. I know we didn't really get a huge sample size of him, but coming out, like, you know, everyone's talking now Zion. One I'm three. talking John Moran, I think, is going to be another guy that's going to be ridiculous in the league for a long time to come. So, yeah, it's just not like it was with Kobe and all those guys and Iverson after that. Like, it's kind of tapered off. And, like, LeBron, honestly, he has been in the league forever. I'm I'm almost ready for him just to say goodbye I, to the game. I give it up to him, though, <laughs> man, the way he, like, takes care of his – I mean, he has been yeah. in the league forever. He's, 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 he's never he's been hurt, physical, you know? He's the top of the NBA. Cramps. Right. Yeah, he's had. Yeah, he's, he's had got cramps stuff. carried off the court. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, last year he was drunk half the games. That's why he wasn't playing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, what, all I'm going to say is he is an absolute freak athlete oh, for what for he sure. does, and, and yeah, he's I'm not the specimen away from his athleticism. Right, I just and what he's done for so long, for how long, is amazing. I, just I give him that he... for sure. Fundamentally, he's not a, as good as Jordan, period. No, uh, just like I said, even just the mentality of the whole flopping thing, watching that, the, the the era of how they play, how LeBron will push someone out of the way and drive to the hoop and then get a foul and go to the line and dunk it ridiculous and be well, like, wow, that was fucking crazy. Well, but then you seen Jordan do it, you were like, wow. Well, because well, Jordan... Go ahead, Sean. You got to look at it like this, too. Uh, you got... Do they even abide by the rules anymore in the NBA? No. Did you see when LeBron carried the ball yeah, like a loaf of bread? Yeah, had it under, and then he and just walked decided up to, to half, dribble. Yeah, walked up <laughs> past half court, then put the ball down and dribble, and everybody on the other team is going, "What the fuck just happened?" Right, James, call the blow the whistle. You just James Harden shoots what uh, two hundred more free throws than anybody else in the league. Yeah, because he knows how to bump into somebody and throw a fucking shot up. Right. And he's All you have to do is throw the pump fake the as soon as too. someone puts their hand up. Jump into him. I hate that shit. The pump fake and jump into him. I can't stand that shit. That That is ridiculous. If you initiate the contact, I'm not calling it. It's not a normal shot. You're not trying to shoot. You're trying to get a foul. No. That's all you're doing. Right. Yeah, you're if you went up for a normal shot and then he, I seen him hit you, okay, yes. I'm going to call the foul. But if you I would jump call in offensive him, just to get rid yeah. of that shit. Right. Offensive, you all, you initiated the contact in the air. You can tell if a dude's like jumping straight up to shoot, or if he's jumping right. straight into somebody. Can you imagine right. Jordan playing that? Here, how about this? How about we just take the seventy-two and ten Bulls team and put them up against any team in this new area era? It's the seventy-three <laughs> and nine Golden State Warriors. No, right? That I'm not saying seventy-two and ten Bulls team would eat them fucking alive show me any team in the nba in the last 10 years that would beat the pistons team that the bulls beat <laughs> show me one team in the nba that could beat them well and see steph curry, me, then steph I will curry say, is an amazing player but with hand right. checking who knows ron harper right. ron harper was ron harper hand checking down. him like that's gonna locking be hard him as fuck. Down, right. locked the fuck down Dennis Rodman and Draymond Green. Can you imagine that fucking fight going oh, on? Oh, <laughs> God, that's so good. We all know Kevin Durant's soft as shit, so yeah, and Pippen, he's yeah. just a wash. Him alive, and Jordan's going to shut down Klay Thompson. I yeah, want to yeah. see the, the fight between Rodman and Draymond because you know it's yeah, going to happen. Oh, that would be so physical. Or, you know, think about it, or Jordan versus Lance Stevenson. Yeah, right. Because my but show me that Golden State team or show me any of these LeBron James teams that could beat that Pistons team 
And if you could show me that you think that they would be able to beat just even that team with that that those piston rules. Well, think about that Pistons team. You have Isaiah <laughs> Thomas, Rose. Joe Dumars, John Sally, Dennis Rodman, Bill Lambeer, yeah. uh Keith Mahorn. I mean, you had that team was and Vinny Johnson. Killers on that team. You had, those weren't basketball players. Those were motherfucking dudes Boxers. that whoop your ass. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you show me LeBron James go to the hole and get beat the fuck down like 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 Jordan did. Yeah, what were the Jordan and, rules? Don't let him get right. in the air. He gets in the air, knock him the fuck down. Or yeah, but, I mean, you can't blame him, though. This is the, the era that he grew up in. I get it. But like, I get, mad, I get mad at the kids all the time, like, you know, like, yo, I didn't have all this technology when I was fucking 10 years old. I probably wouldn't have been outside either. Yeah. I had fucking Super Nintendo. Big fucking whoop. <laughs> right. You know what? The- I, if I wanted something cool, I had to go outside and make it happen. But, I, I always, you know, when I was a kid, I always, you know, what my one of my favorite things to do is always just go outside and hit a fucking wiffle ball with a wiffle ball bat. Just crack hole, <laughs> just crack dingers. Right, I used yeah. to play baseball by myself when I went to my grandma's house in Chicago. She had the front porch with yeah. the with the stairs, and I used to have a tennis ball, and you would try and bounce it at the right angle off the stairs, and like it would sometimes bounce up. That'd be a fly ball. I'd catch yeah. it. You're out. You know, oh, ground ball got past me. That's the guy on first base. Like I would just make up games in my head. <laughs> well, now it's like played. these kids. You think you're any good? Ninety three. <laughs> That's fucking great. I don't know, bro. Probably, I'm probably in trash now. No, but I mean, I probably yeah. throw it harder. It'd be a lot more balls going over my head, or right <laughs> off the nuts, just yeah. line shots to the sack. Straight disaster. I wait for my insurance to kick in before I start playing that game. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jeff, you gotta get insurance, man. <laughs> Uh, it's got to kick in. He's we got it, right? We eventually do have to do a dodgeball tournament, no matter how old we are. Yeah, I'm totally in. I'm in for all. Yeah, that right after right after the beer in hand kickball tournament. Yes, yeah. I'm totally I think we should get it together. Tour. To be honest with you. Yeah, the bionic elbows, fucking bionic elbow, hammering down. Dude, beer in hand kickball sounds so much fucking fun. How about beer in hand one glove boxing? <laughs> Just, uh, just throw yeah, the and drink. The person, the person with the most beer. I'm gonna say straight up, if I get hit in the face, there's a good chance that I'm gonna swing that other hand that's holding the beer, <laughs> and someone's gonna get really hurt. How dare you? <laughs> it's just instinct. You don't waste get, beer. <laughs> I'll drink it first. Drink it. I'll maybe if we, maybe if we it. box in in Illinois. <laughs> You spill that beer in Wisconsin, the people in the audience are going to kick your ass. Right? You ain't getting out of here I alive, still, boy. I still <laughs> can't believe that, that dude, Abib, didn't get jumped by all the people in the stands when they jumped McGregor. I'm honestly shocked by that. I feel like that, that all those, like, fucking Russian dudes like I said, probably should have got the you, you shit beat out of him by the why, crowd. Why his nickname is the Eagle? Because he jumped down like a fucking Eagle. <laughs> yeah! They, they squashed it pretty quick. I mean, like... Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of fucked up, but I think, I mean, the security did a pretty good job. Well, yeah. It wasn't like the malice at the palace, you know? Yeah, no, it wasn't Ron Artest punching fans in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the That's what I'm fans. saying. <laughs> I thought, like, I thought for sure once he went after someone, like, even like one of those crowd fighters, like, if you go to those fights, you're there with, like, your entourage and you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, everyone's got sunglasses <laughs> on inside. Yeah, what? dude. Like there's, those type of people. Yeah, you know they're rolling like 20 deep there. When Tupac just, got he... shot, where was he leaving? Casino. The yeah. Mike Tyson fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was leaving a Mike Tyson fight. And then beat saying, the though, shit out like... of a guy in the fucking casino, and then he was dead fucking an hour how do you How do you kill someone on the Vegas Strip and get away with it? It still There's baffles my mind to this day. Everywhere. Everywhere yeah. in Vegas. Right, they have video footage of him walking the whole way through the hotel and outside, but then but it not goes anything. dark. It goes dark after that. After he gets shot, then everything else. There's no cameras past that point. We had, we had the whole... Think, 
another question. Is Just like, think of a place. All right, like I'm gonna murder before. someone. Where are you gonna do it? And Best place, the Vegas Strip. No witnesses. So <laughs> what, where is this? Is this an island? Like uh, is like Michael Jackson and Tupac and the King and all these rich famous people that just wanted to get away. Are they all on an well, island Michael, somewhere? Michael Jackson's definitely dead. For sure, for sure. For sure. With all that sure. plastic surgery, I feel like you could make a doll of Michael Jackson and it would look really close. If he got cremated, there'd just be a melted splatter in the fucking. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How dare you? <laughs> the king of pop. Yeah. <laughs> you watch your tongue, oh, Sean. Hey, man, so made, made, Michael listen, Jackson around me. Listen, he made great music, but he also fucked with kids. Yeah, R. R. Kelly, never confirmed. Allegedly, you got to say allegedly when you say that. Allegedly, yeah. R. Yeah. Kelly made some bangers, but he was peeing on fourteen-year-olds. When I got all this stuff out of my grandparents' house, I got a Thriller Michael Jackson album. When you open it up, it's got him inside with a tiger, mm -hmm. little tiger Ooh, cub. White suit. A white suit one, yeah. I got that vintage, hey, bro. Hey, Frankie, a buddy of mine got that as a Christmas present in 1986 when it came out. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I've, so I've I'm seen saying, that's original. vintage. I got that shit. Tell him if he wants to bring back memories, bro. 250 bucks. Well, that's your first thing for your... Retail show. Generation, future, generation, generation awesome store. Yeah, right. Rack to the future. Okay. Bro, speaking of tigers. Rack to the future. What about them? Where's the Nicholas tiger? Cage, bro. You guys in or out? What's up? Nick, Nick Cage Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage is Joe Exotic? I thought it was going to be... That's a chef's hand, kiss right there. I thought it was going to be hands down uh, David Spade. For sure. Because of Joe Dirt. And then they, then they hit me out of left field, Nicolas Cage. I'm like, what? Put because the bunny back in the box. They don't, <laughs> they don't have to pay for wardrobe because he's just going to wear his clothes he normally would wear. Yeah, Put the bunny back in the box. Nicolas Cage is going to show up and, oh, man, did you take that from wardrobe? No, man, this is my jacket. <sighs> I'm just concerned how he's going to do the accent because it's like, Yes, it's southern, but it's like ah, it's, whiny. It's My gay cats. southern. Uh, yes, was, uh, what, motherfucker? Flamboyant, <laughs> flamboyantly yes, what, gay, but it's southern. But it's nasally. Yeah, no, yes, that's what? Pretty, that, that sounds just like if I close my eyes right now, it's it's spot on. He ain't that straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's like how's on. Nicolas Cage gonna? I he he can't even do Southern. Put the yeah. bunny back in the box. <laughs> That's what makes the, the fuck Nicolas is that Cage shit? movies good. <laughs> uh, let's be honest. Ooh, watch out, cat! Taking out the camera. Oh, Mama Cupcake just fucking. My little tiger is jumping around here. Nicolas Cage has had some really pile of shit movies. Oh God! This He's might some... honestly, this yeah. might revitalize his career if he does it well. Or this Stop might be, it. you know, Travolta playing last Gotti. Thing ever. <laughs> the last thing he ever does. This might be John Travolta playing Gotti, where it got. I don't think it's. I think it's how the only how movie deep do you think he's gonna play it? Oh, like, is it gonna be the montages of him in his room alone, where he's just? <sighs> I'm never going to financially recover from this. Um, he, right, and it's so deep. Go, <laughs> so... Jim Carrey, man on the moon, method actor, where he is going to be yeah. Joe Exotic right. off the set. On, off the non, set. Doesn't shut it off. Where no, the fuck he's going my... to walk around with a knee brace on <laughs> and an Got EMS jacket. <laughs> Bring me my shoes without the sardine oil. If they make it, I hope they shoot it like uh, like The Office, <laughs> where it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, they know there's a camera crew there. Yeah, yeah so, like, it's like real-life shit. The whole time. Just, like well, how uh, Trailer Park Boys is shot. Yeah. Like, that would be great. They're, if, because they're technically they the guy who, were a movie crew there the whole time. So it would be the same thing, just like real life. Right. Because they were always filming. 
Yeah, so that's why that, I think it needs to be that aspect. But I think that Nicolas Cage is going to take it so far over the top. So far. Like, it's, like, such a dark, serious role. And uh, I don't know. Like, I could see him just all, like, cracked out of his mind, like, fucking shit on his nose. And he's sitting there. He's telling him, listen here. Listen here. I'm, I'm going to need you to go down to Florida and kill that bitch. I'm a, and it's just going to be, like, so bad and over the top. And you're right. just going to be like, what is this? Like, I feel like, honestly, if you're, if my idea, if you're going to say, what movie do you think it's going to be like? The Room. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> I could see him being, like, it's going to be that kind of movie where I'm going to be like, what the fuck am I watching? This is so Is bad. it going to be a movie or, like, a series? Movie. It's going to be a movie. It's just a movie? Yeah. The movie. It'd be better if it was a series. Yeah. 100%. They already did the series. No, I mean, and- like... It, you know, yeah, you know, it's going to be like a, a like, series shot like Trailer Park Boys. Or is it gonna be oh, like, uh, uh, the candelabra, the you know, the story of Liberace. Red. It, all it's going to be is gay sex ha- the whole time. Tell me this. So, oh, so unprofessional. Don't worry, we're coming. Tell me you. this. <laughs> no, I just no, that just Hello, stuck up on my old friend. <laughs> I I want to know. <laughs> What do you think it would have been like if that studio didn't get burned down and all that footage in there would have oh, been made man. into a movie or a show? What do you think that would have been like? That would. Well, been... all those videos are up on YouTube. I watched a couple of them. In all honesty, so he actually he had that Joe Exotic TV show. Yeah. Like oh. you can watch them, but like the documentary stuff, like that guy. Like, the main show that they were going to make, all that footage is gone. But, like, the Joe Exotic TV, all that footage is still there on fucking there. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've had some kinky sex. Oh, God. Here's some <laughs> presidential <laughs> shit. <laughs> I love that Dude, quarantine You would have been great. <laughs> like, if you could have, like, if you could have auditioned. I don't I'm, I'm sorry. You look like him sometimes. Your voice is down. I think you would have been perfect for the. I got his voice ball. down. I just I got to lose perfect about fifty pounds. <laughs> no, Man, dye your hair blonde. Oh, it, it would I be had good. the stash. I had the stash. It would be so good. Guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's so good. I even feel like he's faking it when he's talking. It's, he just get yeah. That's like his intense when he because he's not. What, motherfucker. Like, guess yeah. what? Yeah, because when he's talking, he's like you know he's a lot quieter and it's not. Yeah. It's kind of like this. It's not as. Yeah. Well, then he probably ain't yeah. that. I just. <laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> how do you how do you turn a straight guy gay? You know, meth and tigers. <laughs> 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 what do you what do you do when you have a hundred and fourteen tigers? Two dudes at the same time. <laughs> like, I, like I just want to know who they're gonna get to play the fucking boyfriend, the husbands. Um. And are they going to reenact the scene at the funeral where fucking Joe's singing? Oh God, that's so oh, yeah, bad. Dude. The mom just cracked out. God, I couldn't even oh, imagine when when she admitted it too. She said, I was on meth the whole time. I just. The whole time you gave me <laughs> math balls. There's a bunch of mouth in that fucking TV show. So that oh, zoo, God. the zoo just recently it's... reopened. I saw that. I was gonna say that next. It was fucking <gasps> packed. Right, no fucking mask. No one cared about COVID. It's... <laughs> Dude, you're at a fucking jank ass zoo. You give a fuck no. about COVID. You're gonna cry right. other things from that zoo than COVID. Right. Right, you might get peed on. Right up there in that barn is where they had all the butt sex. (laughs) That's where COVID started. That that trailer right there. Right, that's the alligator pit, but also all the anal sex goes getting shot in there. Old old armless lives in that trailer over there. Right. Might get get peed on. Yeah, if you get peed on, we got shirts in the souvenir shop to say, I got peed on. I got peed on by a tiger. Speaking that was after the butt rape. Speaking of shirts, after you get peed on, go to shop.spreadshirt.com backstage <laughs> <laughs> for all your gentlemen's that merch needs. 
<laughs> I'm oh, wearing one right now. Look at that. Does that say I got peed on, Jeff? I can't see in the this belly. Is the gentleman's Den established 2019. Woo! Oh, Frankie, year. we Wasn't picked the wrong year? year to quit smoking, I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, you picked the right year because you'd be fucking even more broken. Oh, I know, that is true. I would be smoking yeah. so much. I still think about it, <laughs> I mean, but at the same time. Your mouth and a torch at the end, like fucking. Yeah, so wait, nah, fuck it. wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What month is it? <laughs> uh, May. What, what day? <laughs> Ninth or tenth? Ninth? Are you, sh- are you sure? Is it the tenth? You sure, Sean? <laughs> uh, no, oh, because it's time. after midnight. It's after midnight. It's the tenth. Damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm just saying. So, I mean, that's pretty crazy. It's been half the year almost that we've uh, we've been done with them. That, I mean. I still find myself sometimes when I'm like watching a movie, like I'm watching Altered Carbon and they're smoking nonstop. And I'm like, oh, this is so good. It's so intense. And I'm like, what the fuck am I reaching for? I don't have any damn cigarettes next to me. That's but I crazy, did it. too. Six I have months. never noticed how much they smoke in TV and movies until I quit smoking. Dude, try watching Goodfellas. It's fucking impossible. They're just smoking the entire fucking time. The whole movie, I they're smoking. No. Don't worry. Every scene. Football season's here again. We'll have Dylan come over and the, uh. just Turkish cab driver the fuck out of everything. <laughs> I need someone around. I just want to <gasps> smell one. Just, Let's, I know. Just uh, I just want to smell a cigarette. Rolling cigarette for five hours. Jesus six months. Christ. I quit six months last year. Oh, six man. months this year. Going strong. I'm proud of you, Jeff. I'm just going to throw that out there. Proud awesome. of you too, man. Proud. We're doing it. I, th- I think, Jeff, you just got to the point too now where it's like <laughs> you don't think about buying them. You go to the gas station you just buy your... Every, every time. Gas. It is kind of like it's weird going to the gas station because I like, Honestly, you know, throw my that. other shit on the counter and then I'm always like, and a pack of Marlboro Lights. Yeah. You know, no, it's no, just, no, no, it's no, no, ingrained. No, 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 no. It's in your mind. Yeah. So now it's, yeah. yeah, so now I put the shit and they're like, anything else? I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> so it's weird in your mind you're like mm, yeah but yeah maybe i'll just get one pack like nah. yeah i oh, deliberately nice. try not to go in i go to the gas station i use my card at the pump get back in my car and drive away i know but i'm thirsty <laughs> I <do. laughs> so, actually, daddy's thirsty uh, daddy's thirsty monday is the 11th and that's the anniversary of Riverside passing away. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I just realized that. So, yeah, Mother's God, Day. It's got to been 15 years now. Oh, Jesus. Whew, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's deep. Yeah. Right? Um, so, no better way to end the podcast than with the end of Rob's song. Happy so Mother's good. Day Happy to Mother's everybody Day, out the there. Mothers. For Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for coming into the den. And we'll see you again next week for I'll more me. fun-filled adventures from the Gentleman's Den. Bye. Yes, Bye. what, motherfucker?